to take a few moments and talk to you about the word gospel. And that's a very popular word today. In fact, it's, it's not uncommon to see, uh, to see it on blogs, to see books titled uh, the Gospel Marriage or the Gospel Center, uh, Gospel Center Parenting or the Gospel Life, the Gospel College Student. I mean, it just seems like the word gospel now is slapped on anything and everything that's Christian. And this is this really concerns me. I think it's um, I think it's really important for the church to really consider uh, how the word is used in the Bible. How did the Holy Spirit use the word gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ? We know that it's a body of doctrine. We know that it contains truth. It's a system of belief. Uh, Jesus came preaching the gospel. He came preaching about. Uh, the covenant promises made to Abraham and how they were fulfilled in him. Uh, he came quoting Isaiah. I mean, there's a message. Uh, also, we are commanded to believe that message. We are commanded to believe uh, in the content of that message because that message points to Jesus Christ. He's the content. He's the object. He's the subject of the gospel. But when we take the word gospel and uh, we apply it to marriage, the gospel marriage, what does that mean? What are we trying to say? Are we confusing people? Or do we, are we to assume that it's a marriage where both people believe the gospel? Okay, but still, how does that affect your marriage? There's a lot of details left out. It may sound spiritual, it may sound super Christian, but listen, we must make sure that the Holy Spirit who wrote the Bible through fallible men shape our thinking in the way he used the word gospel. We're not allowed to be cavalier about it and just run off, use the word any old way we want to. We better, be, we better make sure that we treat the scriptures reverently and that we seek to be faithful to scripture and, and begin to use the word gospel the way the apostle Paul used it, the way Jesus used it, and, um, and then we can be safe with it. So let me encourage you, take note of what your Bible says about the word gospel and begin challenging all those titles where you find the word gospel used as an adjective.